In this video, I'm gonna talk about can you file bankruptcy and not list all of your creditors? Hi, I'm Scott. I'm an attorney in Alabama. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for checking it out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, that notifications bell, so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. This is a question that comes up about once every two weeks where someone says, I'm interested in filing bankruptcy, but I don't want to list my Visa credit card. I'm still using it. I use it all the time. I've had it for the last five years and I don't want to lose the card. Well, the problem is, is all creditors get listed in the bankruptcy case. What if I just don't list it? You know, I've got it, but we'll just leave it out. Will that make a difference? Well, that's not going to help either. What if you just don't tell your lawyer at all and you just try to trick your lawyer and you don't list it? Well, the problem becomes is that most of these sophisticated creditors have software systems that pick up the bankruptcy filings and match the filing with their customer's social security number. When they do that, they go ahead and mark the account as included in bankruptcy and they go ahead and shut it down right then or in the process of shutting it down. The other reason why you want to make sure you list all your creditors is because you don't want to run the risk of failing to list a creditor and the debt not getting wiped away or eliminated. Again, it's better to disclose, 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 list everybody and your brother that you think you may owe money to because it doesn't really cost any extra to list additional creditors in your bankruptcy case. So if you're in Alabama and you're wondering what your bankruptcy related options are, click on the link below. I'd be glad to talk with you. Until next time.